Do not adjust your computer, tablet, or phone that you're watching this on. I have not gotten bigger. This is just a very, very small guitar. It's a Martin Custom Shop Turs guitar that is a delight to play. I'm going to be telling you all about it and try my best to play on this tiny little guitar. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So this is small. I play a little guitar. What can I say? Uh, this is what's called a Terz guitar, and this is a wonderful uh, example of a Terz guitar out of the Martin Custom Shop. Uh, it's got very cool specs to it. Just We'll get into it, but just like nicely selected specifications for this really cool guitar. But before we jump into those, what the heck is a Terz guitar? If you don't know, uh, Cooper actually did a video, I think during the pandemic, on another Terz from Martin that we got. And I remember having a conversation with him initially where he was going, what's a Terz guitar? And I was like, oh, I played one at the Martin factory. They're very, very cool. Um, and so he he's had a chance to play it. He, you know, in that video, uh, demonstrates and explains what they are. But just for a refresher, in a nutshell, it's for threes. It's basically tuned to a third higher um, than or three frets higher than on a normal guitar. So this is not a guitilele, which would be tuned to A, but it's a Terz guitar, which is tuned to G. So you can think of it as taking your acoustic guitar, and if you capo on the third fret, then your E becomes a G, and then everything is you know, three frets higher. That's what this guitar is. Um, and it's it's small body shape for that. Um, it's got a different scale length and everything to go along with it. And it's really just kind of one of those delights. Now, it's a small guitar. It comes with its own challenges. And playing this guitar, I do kind of have to fold myself up a little bit to do it. Uh, but I, I liken these to kind of the same thing that you get with a 12-string guitar, a guitar tuned to Nashville tuning, which is where you take the high parts of a 12-string set and put it on there, a baritone guitar, um, a guitalele, which again would be something similar tuned to A, uh, but tuned otherwise like a guitar. All of those things can bring out the creativity in you. So if you're ever stuck in a rut, sometimes it's putting on a capo or it's reaching for something that's a little bit different than what you would normally play. And you'll be amazed at how much you know the creative juices get going and, and you're just kind of awakened to new possibilities on your instrument. So you might say, why wouldn't why would I buy that? Why wouldn't I just buy or a guitar and, and put a capo on the third fret? Because that's why. Now it's it's a very cool instrument. So let's talk about um, what is going on with the custom shop specifications. So it's it's what's called a size five or a Terz guitar from Martin. It features an Engelman spruce top, which I'm a fan of. If you've been watching this channel for any period of time. I have a Taylor with Engelman Spruce. I really like it. Engelman Spruce kind of just rounds the edge of a note compared to Sitka Spruce, just a bit. It's just a little softer, so you don't sacrifice as much in volume as, say, if you went to Cedar, but it's on just that side of, of Sitka. Um, it sounds kind of like matured Sitka Spruce a bit, and, and I really like it. So a uh, wonderful addition to this guitar because you get that nice creamy color. Um, and it's a little softer, so you know you don't have to put a lot of tension or, or energy because this is not going to be your flat picking guitar, folks. That is not what this is for. This is for delicate sitting on the couch, um, playing you know songs finger style or composing a piece for Sting, you know, after you've left the police and you find a small guitar lying around. Um, anyways, no, very cool, very nice top, really beautiful silking, which is the medullary lines. Uh, that are going across it. The top features a 45 style abalone rosette and fine uh, herringbone purfling because it's a small guitar. It needs smaller herringbone. Really nice cream uh, ivory binding, ebony fingerboard and bridge. The fingerboard features the diamonds and squares inlay, again done 
in abalone, really beautiful. The back and sides are wild grain East Indian rosewood. That might sound familiar on our channel because we did some HD28s with the Martin Custom Shop that were exclusive to us. Those are amazing guitars. We have one left, by the way. Uno mas. Awesome guitars. Um, so they've used wild grain East Indian rosewood here for the back and sides and also for the headstock overlay. The very diminutive neck here is mahogany, going into a mahogany block, uh, typical uh, dovetail neck joint. And then you've got 18 to 1 open gear Grover tuners on there. On the headstock, it's the old style Martin logo. And uh, matching up here with the fretboard with a one and three quarter inch nut. Now here's where it gets fun. A typical guitar, like a, an HD28, is going to have a 25 and a half inch scale length. Something that's like a triple O, it's going to be 24.9, I think. If you look at something like, say, a GS Mini, it's sitting at around 23, I think. This is 21. 21 inch scale length, 21 and, and change. But it tells you just kind of how small it's shrunk because, again, it's shortening the scale length starting at G, and then everything is adjusted accordingly. It's also a 12 fret because, of course, it would be. Why would we need two extra frets on a tiny guitar? I'm being facetious. So anyways, it's, it's a very cool, very unique instrument, and I'm going to play it for you. So take a listen.
I love everything about this guitar. I think this is super fun. Now, a lot of people will probably look at that video and go, that looks uncomfortable. Josh said, as I was filming, uh, that looked uncomfortable. I would probably, going forward, play with a different posture on this guitar because it's almost it almost calls for like classical guitar posture, but it's small enough that you can really just kind of rest it here and play because it's such a diminutive instrument. But I love the sound it gets, particularly on the high end. There's a chime on the treble side of this guitar that you just don't get if you take your guitar and you just put a capo on the third fret. I love capos. Okay, they're not cheating. Frets are cheating. We figured that out a long time ago. But um, this is fun. This is fun. It's different. Again, like I said at the beginning, it's like having a baritone. It's like having a 12 string. It just calls for something different and it gives you something different. And so I can play on this guitar things that I've played on other guitars a lot and it has an entirely different character to it. Um, it's a lot of fun and I think it's, it's really, it's just a precious instrument. So... This is obviously not for everybody, um, but it also comes with a really nice diminutive case if you are interested in a tourist guitar. Um, and if you are interested, you should go to our website, which is alamomusic.com. We have the photos of this guitar and the specifications of this guitar. Um, and it's, you know, it's really something um, that I think is cool. I know at Martin, uh, it seems to be like the people that are in the know really have an affinity for the terrace guitars. Um, and they've been popping up on all sorts of recordings over the years. Um, there's a lot of people that make great use of them. So I really like it. I'm a fan. Um, my wife likes little instruments. I don't know why she has an affinity for like eighth size violins and stuff. So I thought maybe I could sneak this one in, you know, cause it's small. Um, I don't think it was quite small to measure on the cute meter enough, but, um, so that just means it's still available. So, I digress. If you'd like more information about it, go to our website, alamomusic.com. Um, and you can also chat with someone live uh, on the site. Uh, sometimes it's me, Cooper, one of our other sales staff that can help answer any of the questions that you need uh, to get a terse guitar. Or maybe it's a big, you know, uh, baritone guitar that you need to get those creative juices going. We have the right guitar to suit your needs. Um, and by the way, if you are in Texas, I know it's a big state, we have about the best selection of Martin and Taylor guitars in the entire state. So if that's on your radar, you definitely want to come see us. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, you like our videos, and keep coming back for more. I'll see you next time.